This is the answer sheet to the previous video, which was a pop quiz. That was Sudoku Primer video number 191. I will explain each number in this video. I'll go through the puzzle in the same order that I went through it in the previous video, but in this one I'll explain how I got each number. This is puzzle number 94 from Sudoku to Go, volume 107, by Soap Opera Digest. If you like this channel, be sure to subscribe by mousing over this button right here and clicking subscribe. You can also, um, after you subscribe, you can also click on the bell icon to be notified every time a video is published on this channel. I won't explain the easier numbers as I go through this, but if you have a question or any questions, leave a comment and I'll try and answer your questions. And I enjoy uh, hearing from you guys and reading your comments and appreciate your positive feedback and, and all your suggestions and everything. All right, well, to get started, we... Uh, Put a seven right there. That one's pretty easy to see. A seven, seven, seven. And then we put a seven here. That one's not quite as easy to see, but uh, we've got two, three, seven, nine left in this column right here. We've got a two, three, and a nine in this row already, so we know that's a seven. All right, and then we have two, three, and nine here. There's a three in this uh, left in this column, I should say. There's a three here, so we know that's a three because neither of these cells can be a three. And then we got a two there, so we can finish putting in the two and the nine. Pretty easy so far. All right. Now let's see. We've got a six right here. And that's because we've got a 6 here and a 6 here. And we use double row elimination up here. One of these has to be a 6. And we got a 6 here, so one of these has to be a 6. So that completes these two rows for this section, this top section. So we know the 6 has to be here or here in uh, box 3. And we've got a 6 there already, so we know the 6 goes there. And we got an 8 here. That one's real easy to see. I'll just leave that one for you to look at. All right. Now, um, one thing I noticed on this puzzle real early on, or I think about now, and it's a little hard to see, but we have seven nine twins right here. Let's look at this cell first. We got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here we've got in, in this cell we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got seven nine twins right there. Now they don't really help us right now and they uh, I, I didn't see it at a time where, where those really helped a lot, but I just wanted to point those out to you. All right, and then I placed a three right here. And this was, like I said in the uh, pop quiz, this was a kind of a tricky number. And let's, let's see how I got that. First of all, we've got, uh, if we look at, this box, we know one of these has to be a 4. The reason we know that is we've got a 4 in one of these 4 cells, and we've got a four, four, 4 and 4 there, so one of these has to be a 4. So that, using double column elimination, that covers these two columns for these two boxes, and so the 4 here needs to be either here or here. 
Now I mentioned double row elimination a minute ago and double column elimination. If you're not familiar with that technique, go to sudokuprimer.com and look under techniques and you can find the double column, double row and column elimination and you can read up on it. So we know that one of these is a 4. We also have a 9, 7, and 1 here already in this row. So that can't be a 9, 7, or, or a 1. And so we've got 1, 4, 7, 9. We got quadruplets here, one, four, seven, nine. And because of that, we know that that is a three. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so that's how I got the three there. Now I didn't look at this before, but I wonder if we could see all the numbers from here. Let's let's try that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, if you knew these were um, the four had to be in one of these two cells, you could have found that three without finding the, the quadruplets, but finding these quadruplets there again is, is a good way to, to find that three. And then we have a uh, 2, 2, 3, 3. So we have two, three twins there. So the next thing we did was put in 2 and 3 right there. And then we put a 5 right there. And the reason we knew that was a 5 was because we have 2 and 6 here. We've got an L pattern here. And you can find learn about lots of different patterns on sudokuprimer.com under the patterns section. But we've got an L pattern right here and we've got a 2 and a 6 here so we know these are two 6 twins. So what's left over? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, and 8. Well we can't solve the 4, 5, or 8 but we can see that there's a 5 here and a 5 here so we know that's a 5. And the only reason we knew that was the only place for a 5 was because of these two 6 twins here. All right, and then we've got a 5 right here. And the reason we knew that was a 5 was because we've got a 5 here, ghost 5's here, and ghost 5's, or ghost numbers is another technique that you can look up on sudokuprimer.com. So we got a 5 here, ghost 5's there, and so we know one of these had to be a 5, and there's a 5 there already. Okay. Alright, then we only have two numbers left here in this row, and we can see those are 4 and 6 pretty easily. And now, and then we put a 1, 4, and a 7 there. And the reason we knew that was because we have 6, 8, and 9 missing here. So 1, 4, and 7 were the only three numbers left on this row. We put the 1 there because of the 4 and the 7. We put the 4 here, and how do we know that's a 4? Well, you remember we knew the 4 had to be either here or here because of this double column elimination that we uh, looked at earlier. Okay, and so that has to be a 7. All right, and then we got a uh, only two numbers left in box four here, four and five. Those are really easy to see. And then we've got a uh, let's see, we've got one five seven here and one five seven here. So we know these are one five seven, and we can solve them by uh, um, or I'm sorry. We can't solve these yet. We did these uh, two eight nines first in the in the pop quiz, and we got a two and an eight in this row already, so we know that's a nine. And then we filled in the um, 
an 8 here, there's a corner pattern here, and so we know that one of these is an 8, so that has to be the 8, and that's a 2. All right, and then, um, let's see, well, then we filled in the 1, 5, and 7. We know that's a 1, because well, there's a 5 and a 7 there. All right, and there's a 5 here also, so we know that's a 5 and that's a 7. All right, and then I mentioned this corner pattern a minute ago. We can look up here and see if we can find two numbers that are, aren't already in this box, and if we do, we know they fit there, and that's we got a 7, 3, and 5 already. So 4 and 8 fit here, and we can easily put those in because of that 4 there. Right. And then we've got 1, 2, and 9 left here. And so 2, 2, 2, 1, and 9. And then we've got a 6, 8, 9 in box 5. And there's a 6 that goes there. Only number left in that column. And then 8 and 9 are easy to see. Now we're only missing 8 and 9 here. We've got an 8 there. All right, and we've got a 7 here and 7 here, so we put a 7 in box 9 right there. And at that point, we can solve the 7, 9 twins that, we, uh, that I mentioned earlier. And then we got 1 and 9 left there. Let's see what we're missing here. 1, 3. We're missing 1 and 3 here, so we know that's a 1, that's a 3. And then. 4 and 9, there's left for this box right here. All right, now we've got only one number missing in this column, that's a 1. And 4, 5, and 2, or 2, 4, and 5 go here. There's 2 and a 4 there. There's 4 and a 4 there, so that's a 4, and there's 2 in the middle. All right. We only have one number missing in this row right here, so that's a 1. All right. And then we have the two 6 twins that we found earlier. We've got a 2 there now, so we can solve those. And left over here is a 3 and a 5 in box 2, and we can solve those. And uh, box 1 is a 3 and a 6, so we can solve those easily. And that's it. All right, well, how did you do? Uh, were you able to follow along in the pop quiz? Um, were you able to see all those things? And my real question was, were, how did you see how I found that 3 there? Were you able to figure that one out? So... So anyway, that is the answer sheet to the uh, video 191 pop quiz. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.